Hi everyone, welcome back to Get Ready With Me, Louise. I've recorded this intro already and I messed up, but we're going to do it again. Alright, today we're going to be working out of the new Charlotte Tillsbury Pillow Talk collection. I didn't get to order all of it, but I did order some of it. So for that, I ordered the palette and the eyeliner. I ordered the Pillow, the pillow Talk 2 Medium lip liner and lipstick and that's all I ordered out of the pillow talk part because I was going to get the blush too and more of the the other lipstick but your girl is running low on funds okay it just is what it is I don't like saying girl because I'm not a girl your woman is running low on funds okay my fiance is like cutting me off too many launches but I did try to do a full face so I did use her um, primer I have a sample of it um, or many of it I guess of the Wonder Glow so I used that and then I used her um, airbrush flawless foundation in 5.5 because I had a sample of it then I had a sample of the airbrush flawless finish to medium oh yes all bunch of samples you got, I, you know it. Um, and then I also have um, another eyeliner, which is the um, Bedroom Black. And I have her mascara, but I'm trying a different mascara today because I want to try brown mascara with this look. I think it'd be cute. Then I also use the Glowgasm palette that I got, I think, in the spring of last year. Um, and it's the Lightgasm, and I used it for bronzer, blush, and highlight. So, I did almost get the full face, but not all the way. So, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So, the pillow talk right now I have on is just that. Is That's all I have on my lips right now. I wanted you to see it as it is, you know, true to color. It's a very pretty color. Loving it. Um, but, but, I love her matte. It's phenomenal. But I feel like it needs a little something, something. And I'm thinking a gloss is what it needs. So, I'm actually going between the two Fentanys. Either Fussy or Fentany Glow. It's like one's a little too dark, one's a little too light. But I think I'm going to go with the Fentany, the Fussy. Just because I feel like that just always, it, that's the one thing everybody's not lying about. It really does make your lips look bigger, I think. So, I'm just going to apply it just a little bit. A little just to make it look a little bigger ain't nothing wrong to have with bigger lips you know what i mean and then i do have her two brushes the eye smudger and the eye blender i'm going to try to incorporate that into this now this is the palette and oh my goodness is it pretty and like her palettes like this um they are set up in rose day desk date and dream in this particular palette with three colors now it doesn't mean you have to stick to that but she does sort of set it out for you, which I find to be amazing. Because if you're not a makeup artist like myself, or a makeup guru, or somebody with a vision, it is hard sometimes to look at a palette and judge. Trust me, I know. Um, but again, we're not basing this off of my performance, okay? We're basing it off of the palette itself, which is phenomenal, I'm sure. Now, I do not know that for sure, because obviously, I just got it. Sorry, I'm going to pluck, or pluck, yeah, I'm going to pluck my eyelashes out. No, I'm going to brush them out. I'm sorry. They got powder in them, and I want to make sure that it's out for right now. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started because, obviously, you guys got things to do. I got things to do. Not really, but I can pretend. I'm a mom of four, so I've always got something to do. Come on, we never have a break at all. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into this day or shoot this desk and I'm going to go into this first color right here and I'm just going to lay it down over the shadow even though I've already dusted the powder over it. I just feel like it needs a little bit of something, you know, just a little. Ooh, her brush is nice and soft. I'll give you that. I really haven't played with these brushes. I've had them for quite some time. I was actually going to do a review using something. 
another one of her palettes with them and then it never came around. Oh, the Darling palette. And then I just never did it. I need to do it. I know. All right. So then I'm going to go into date and I'm going to go into this first shade and I'm going to start my crease. And as we all know, I have hooded eyes, so I have to start a little bit higher. And her shadows are pigmented, but easily blendable, as you would expect. And again, the price point is up there for this palette. I think it was $75, if I recall. So it's not cheap, but I feel like this is a palette that you can use on the daily. I feel like you'll get a lot of use out of it. And it kind of gives you a variety. And again, it does kind of fit the name of it. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <clears throat> I am feeling much better, although I still have this cough. The flu really, man, took me out of the game, that's for sure. I have never felt so bad in my life as I did with that flu, and I would not wish that on anybody. For real, it was bad. All right, so then I'm gonna go into date, and I'm gonna go to the next shade. It's a little darker. I'm just gonna darken that up a little bit. And again, I'm just using the same brush. And I do find, I don't necessarily think they're boring, but I can see where people would say it, but they are pretty. And if you're coming, like, I particularly like it because, like, you can do, like it says, I mean, you can do day, night, you can do office, you can do, I mean, a date night, you know, you can do a sexy look, you can do a, a bedroom look, you can do, you know, a brunch look. I mean, you can just do so many different looks, and that's what I find to be so good about her palettes. And you can start out with, like, a, day, a daytime look and then move it into, even, I am so hungry. I haven't ate. And again, it's not about my technique. It's about the shadows themselves. And they are blending beautifully. As you would expect them to, you know? I mean, you really wouldn't expect anything less. And again, the question it really with these higher end palettes is always, is it worth it? And again, that's up to you. I feel they are. My fiance feels they are not. So, you know, it just depends. All right. So, I think now I'm going to take it into, um, oh, no. I think I'm going to go into Dream, and I'm going to go into this last color, and I'm going to put it on my outer corner. And I'm going to use the smudger brush for this one. I like this brush too. It's nice and soft, to be honest. And it fits right in there. Hmm. Maybe I should be using these brushes a little more. And it's blending the color out nicely.
Okay. And I'm just going to take my brush and go back into that first color, or that date, the medium brown, and just go through my crease with that again. So far, I'm liking it. It's really pretty. And I could build this up even darker, but I'm not a very dark type of person when it comes to shadows. Like, I'm still scared of that particular, you know, thing. So then I think I'm going to go into Dream, and I'm going to go into this first shade right here, and I'm going to put that on my... Uh, the rest of it. Uh, I need a spray. Max Fix Plus. Even though I feel like it would go on easily, I'm just going to go ahead and just use the spray. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and use a um, ColourPop brush in E7. Well, I guess I can apply it first, not wet. Let's try it first, not wet. Um, I'm sorry, I'm going to go into... What did I say? I'm going to go into the middle one. Yeah. And there's no fallout. Well, I guess I don't have to get it wet. It went on nicely. And there's a little bit of kick up, but nothing really major. Nothing really at all but I guess I've got to say it huh Then I'm going to go back in with that smudger brush and just make sure I got that matte. Where it needs to be. Okay. Whoops. So that, I didn't need to wet it after all, to be honest with you. So that's pretty cool. And it didn't, you know, fall. Nope. So I'm good there. So we're good. All right. Then I'm going to try the eyeliner. God help us on it. I'm going to just go across my top lash line. I suck at this, guys. I don't even know how to do it.
eyeliner is not my thing at all. I'm not even gonna lie. But then I can't imagine most people start now eyeliner being something they can, you know, do. And I know it's hard to believe that at my age I'm just starting out, but I uh, am. made this one a little bit thicker again not meaning to but it did happen so, let me make this one thicker all right then I'm gonna run it under my lash line and it's like a plum I guess brownish plum color And then I'm just going to sort of smudge it out, I guess. I'll just take that brush I was using with that red. And just sort of smudge it out. You know, this kind of reminds me of the uh, naked cherry eye look I did. To be honest, I do. I, it really does. That's what it kind of reminds me of. But I like it. Ooh, oh, that was pretty. Hmm. I don't think it would look good in my inner corner, though. I think for inner corner, we're going to go with, um... Day. And we'll go with... Let me think. Hold on. Well, let's try it. What the hell? We're going to go in the same thing and try this one. necessarily think this is the way it's supposed to be, but this is the way we do in it. I think I'm going to take a little bit of the Actually, I'm going to take a little bit of the highlighter I used out of her um, Glowgasm palette, and I'm going to pop that right on there.
sometimes mixing shades work. Sometimes not. <clears throat> but in this particular one, it worked somewhat. So, I mean, I find that the palette's easy. I like the eyeliner. It was easy to use, especially along the bottom lash line. Um, obviously, I have issues with eyeliner, so that's me, not the eyeliner itself. But it was nice. It was smooth. The lipstick, the lip liner, awesome, amazing. Love the gloss with it, though, although that's not, you know, Charlotte Tilbury. Um, you can make softer looks. You can make brighter looks. You, you can pretty much do whatever you wanted to out of this particular palette. But I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes now and try out this new brown mascara that I got because I just feel like it would look so cute with this look. I don't know why I feel so strongly about this, but I do. Okay, and then the mascara I'm going to be using, it is a uh, benefit, uh, they're real, and the actual shade, I don't believe it was just brown. Hmm, huh. I don't even say the shade on it, but it looks like this. And I was been I've been in a search for brown brown, like I really wanted a brown brown, and I think this might just be it. Just to give it somewhat, especially like if you're doing a softer look. I just feel like this would add to it. And I do love uh, this particular mascara. I have it in black. Yeah, I have it in black. But I do love the Bad Gal Bang also. And I have it in the blue. Really, I love all of Benefit Mascara. The Roller Lash. Now, I wish it was in the brown. That one's my favorite. But I couldn't find it in brown. at all to any way. You would think more companies would have just a brown brown. But they don't. And I don't know why they don't. But I do like it. I like that brown. 
Now, again, you can use black and make it bold. You can, whatever it is that, you know, you want to do, you make the look your, your, your own. This is my look, you know? And, again, right or wrong, you know, I don't know. I really don't. Well, actually, I'm sure I did it wrong as far as applying stuff and my technique. I have no doubt. But we're not here about that, are we? No, we aren't. No, no. We're not here to judge my makeup abilities or my makeup skills. What we are here to judge is these palettes. Are these palettes worth it? Not this particular palette because it's, it's good. I don't even know if you can still buy it or not. I love it personally. But again, like I said over and over again, I love all of her stuff. Well, no, not all. There's some stuff I don't. But as a whole, more not than, you know, usual, the, I like most of her stuff. And I find that with a lot of things that I like more than I don't like, which is a good thing, I think. Because I would hate to sit there and go, oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. I, and not think of one thing from a company you don't like or from a, a, a brand, anything, you know what I mean? Like, I'd be like, oh, oh no, what have I done? What have I gotten myself into? And I don't like being negative. I don't like saying things aren't good. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I've spent a lot of money. Like the palette itself is $75. I can see why my fiance is a little mad, to be honest with you, because if you had that, then the eyeliner was 20 something the lip liner was 20 something the lipstick was 34 i think so you're at over 170 dollars plus tax with just this and that's crazy okay so i do get frustration and i also understand when makeup artists are using these things they love it that it's they make it go so easy because that's their profession that's what they're good at now someone like me it's not going to be as easy to do these looks like a professional makeup artist however it's still easy the makeup you know did the work for me the brushes did the work for me, obviously, because you used them. But, I mean, the, the fact that they're so good. You know what I mean? And it did it at a decent time. Granted, I go slow so you can see what I'm doing. So, you can see if it's patchy. You can see how long it takes me to, you know, do what I'm doing. Um, but, 9 out of 10, I'd probably have been boom, 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 and done. Because, usually, I'm on the go and I'm in a hurry. But, I mean, it, it, it is what it is. It's good. Now the question remains, and this is up to each individual consumer, is it worth the price? Only you can decide that one. And with that said, let me know down in the comments below. Is it worth it to you to purchase it? Um, to me, my opinion, yes. Because I feel like I could use every single color in that palette without fail. So... I feel like I will get my use out of this. And when I can say I can use every color in a palette. There you go. Because how many palettes do you own that you can say you will use every color in a palette? Uh, hmm, you know, I can't think of that many. Um, especially, what is that? Uh, hold on. 12 pans. So, 12 pans. I was going to say like Tom Ford, but his is four. I can use off his. Um, I mean, I really can't think of a 12 pan palette that I can say that with. Urban Decay. Reloaded, maybe, I think is the only. Honey, I can use it. So, I mean, you got to keep that in mind also. Well, let me down. Let me know down in the comments what you think, how you liked it. Um, did it perform well for you? Are you going to get it? Um, what I did was was it good enough? I mean, did it show you if it was easy or not? Or am I? 
need to go into more detail. Um, again, I'm just like you trying to figure these palettes out um, because I have no makeup ability. And I do feel bad for these companies because I know I'm not doing them justice. I feel so bad to even do this. But from a consumer's point of view, I'm so tired of spending my money. So, and I, and I don't think for one second influencers are lying, though I'm sure some are. Or, you know, I don't think that. I just think that it comes easy to them. And it doesn't come easy to me. So, if it does, I feel like there's people, it's not coming easy to a lot of people. And if anybody's anything like me, I'm watching these influencers and I'm taking their advice. And then I'm bringing it home and I'm like, not easy. This is really hard. It's a lot of blending. It's a lot of this. It's a lot of that. So, though I can maybe get it, it's not as easy as they made it seem. So, this is the final look. I do hope that you enjoyed this. And if you did, hit the like button. And if you don't care, subscribe and ring the bell and hit all. That way you're notified of all my upcoming videos. I have a ton. I'm even going back into the collections that I have because this is ludicrous that we keep spending. I keep doing it. I keep doing it. I probably have 15. No, I know it's more than 15. Like I said, almost maybe twenty, thirty thousand dollars in makeup that I'm not going to use. And it's ridiculous. We keep buying new and new and new. And I'm like, how many other people out there are doing this? And maybe not with high end. That's a little harder for me even. And, and I'm sure that's harder for anybody. But like ColourPop. They come out with a new release every week. Are you, I mean, and chances are, you're probably like, oh, I need that. But I realized I don't because I got the Bare Necessities and I got that other big palette. And those two palettes combined, I swear, this last release they did, they almost mimic each other. I mean, they may be a shade off or a tone off. But they're pretty darn close. So I was like, no, 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 no. So I have been watching as far as that goes. But... Again, even if I bought it, I'm not putting that much into it. You know what I mean? Because ColourPop is so affordable. It's crazy. And it's good. That's the other thing. Other than their glitters. I don't like their glitters at all. I don't know why they do that. They should stop that. Stop that, ColourPop. I know uh, my opinion don't really mean anything to you, but stop it. So, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. No, They're not going to stop making makeup and releasing every other day and um we're not going to stop buying it because we think we need it so as long as that continues i guess i'm going to be on here you know showing you newer products and how easy it is for your average consumer and then or not so average consumer because i'm like at all you know give me a two with makeup skill you know but i'm going back i'm going back into my older palettes because i really i know I've got some goodies in there, and I know I like them, so, but anyway, with that said, please like, please subscribe, leave me comments, I want to interact, I want to know your thoughts, I want to know what you want to see next, even if it's an older palette, I may have it, and if I don't, I'll try to find it for you, and I'll try to review it for you, especially if you're thinking about buying it, because I don't want anybody to waste their money, and let me be that friend to waste my money, or my fiance's money, it's all the same. Right? What's his is mine. What's mine is mine. Isn't that the way it goes? Or happy wife, happy life. I mean, at one point, we'll get married. I mean, 12 years in, you think it's coming up, right? Maybe. Maybe not. It's on me, I know. Um, It's soon. It is. I. It, it is soon. I'm just joking. Um, I've. It's not that I've put it off. It's just... Things... And life just happened, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, you kind of got the money, but up oh, the furnace goes out. There it goes. You know what I mean? So stuff like that. Um, it's nothing. And I want to do it right this time around, you know. I'm not doing it again, that's for damn sure. So, but anyway, uh, I love you all. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.